What's up guys, Wade here, and in this video, I'll be showing off a new application called Air Display. Um, the app is available in the App Store for around 10 bucks, and what it allows you to do is basically use your iPad as a second display on your computer. Um, right now, this is only available for Mac users, um, but it'll soon be available for Windows users as well. Um, so once you've bought the application, you will get an app that looks like this. You open it up for the first time, it'll give you some instructions on how to install the software for your computer itself. Um, so it'll take you to a site like this, and you'll have to download and install the software. You'll restart your computer, and once you boot it back up, you'll get a little icon in the top right corner that looks something like this. Um, and all you have to do is click on that icon, turn Air Display on. and it'll start searching for the iPad. Make sure that your iPad is on the same Wi-Fi connection that your computer is running on. And if it finds it, you'll see it up in the selections. Go ahead and click it. You'll see the screen will refresh. Your iPad will also refresh. You'll notice the Snow Leopard background on your iPad. And essentially what this application will allow you to do is anything you drag to the right side of the screen, so let's say the application Tweety, if you drag it past the right side of the screen on your computer, it will go directly to your iPad screen, right there. You also notice that you'll have a mouse here so you can still mess around with it on your iPad itself. Um, and as always, um, the iPad is touchscreen enabled, so you do have the option to use the touchscreen on the Mac, excuse me, on the display as well. Um, the only downside is that the application is a little bit laggy, but the fact that it's running over Wi-Fi network um, and it's not a um, direct feed um, would certainly allow it to be a little laggy, um, but overall it is usable. Um, if you're looking for an oh, easy way to keep an application running off to the side if you wanted to keep a download open off to the side and not have it in your way or keep an application like Tweety or Facebook or whichever application you choose off to the side to keep it refreshing without it always having to be on your screen. So there you go. Um, that's how you use your iPad is a secondary display. Like I said, this software is available in the App Store for about 10 bucks. Um, right now it's only available for Mac, but it is available for both the iMac and all the lines of the MacBook computers. So if you have any questions, feel free to send me a message or post a comment, or you're more than welcome to visit their website with information on their different products. I'll have a Links to their website off in the video description if you would like to check that out. And I will see you guys in the next video.